Hey, it's Kev, the YouTube audio guy. The YouTube channel for short, informative videos in plain English on how to create clean, creative audio. All right, today we're going to be working with the Native Instruments Scarby J Bass plugin. We're going to create some realistic slap funk bass lines. The Scarby J Bass plugin is part of Native Instruments Complete Nine Ultimate, which is an awesome suite of tools to create music with. Now, I'm going to break this lesson into two videos. In the first video, I show you how to create a realistic, funky bass line. And in the second video, I show you how to create the virtual bass amp and the mix processing that gives it that big sound with the big energy. All right, let's get to the good stuff. Let's hear that finished groove. Here we go. Cool. All right, now let's break down how we made this bass line. Okay, I'm in contact, and I've opened two Scar B J bass instruments, the J bass slap neck and the J bass slap bridge. Now note that each instrument is on a separate MIDI channel. MIDI channel one for the neck, MIDI channel two for the bridge. Okay, next in my workstation software, I've created three MIDI tracks for the bass right here. Now the first two tracks are assigned to the neck bass, See those going to MIDI channel one. And the third track is assigned to the bridge bass right here, going to MIDI channel two. Next, I want you to check out the labels on my tracks. Now, this is important. Although I'm creating a single bass line, I've broken that bass line down to three elements. Notes, which is here. Control, which is this track here. And Ghost, which is right here. Okay, now let's add some notes to the notes track. And to keep this simple, I'm going to keep our bass line like a four bar phrase, uh, just these notes. Okay, pretty straightforward and simple. And to save time, I've already kind of dropped those in, so let's go to that. And there's our bass line. All right, so let's go ahead and play that back to see what we got. All right, it sounds okay, but it's not very exciting. And since I actually play bass guitar, I know the two consecutive notes never sound the same, yet in this track they do. And that takes away from the realism quite a bit already. So to fix this, I need to make every other note sound different from the first. To achieve this, I'm going to use the J Bass Instruments key switching function. On the contact keyboard, down below here, you'll notice that some of the keys are red in color. Now these are control keys. A control key doesn't make a sound, but it instead alters the sound when it's played along with another key. Watch this, I'll use this low C sharp key right here, and I'll actually play it along with this E. Cool. So now let's go back, and let's record that control information. I want to keep that information on a separate MIDI track, so I'll record that on my control track right here. Remember, I want every other note to sound different. I've already recorded some control track information, so let's go ahead and drop that in here. And let's go ahead and hear that. Okay, it's definitely better from a realism standpoint, but it still sounds mechanical. So to really make this sound real, we need to add some ghost notes. What are ghost notes? I'll tell you. Now, if I were to play this line, on a bass guitar, you'd hear the muted sound of my hands landing on strings, playing noteless rhythms, slaps, pops, clicks, that sort of thing, but all in kind of a rhythm. These are ghost notes, the human funk element of slap bass. And we want to get that element in this track, so let's add some ghost notes. And we'll add them right here on our ghost notes MIDI track. Now, I use only three notes for this particular track, and here's the ghost notes. Okay, now let's hear all three tracks together. I'll enable my notes and my control notes, and let's go ahead and play this. There we go. Now our performance is happening. I went through these ghost notes kind of fast, and I want you to be able to get a good look at them. So I'm gonna be sharing this file. So if you'd like a copy of this file for yourself, Go to my website, youtubeaudioguy.com, or just click on the screen 
and I'll take you there myself. I'm sharing this file in formats for Motu DP7 and DP8, Avid Pro Tools 9, which should load into versions 10.11, and Presana Studio 1 version 2. Now, if you're working with other software or your PC user, there's also a folder with standard MIDI files for you. Don't forget, on my next video, we'll make a huge sounding virtual bass rig to go with this funky bass line. Once again, only thing you need is Native Instruments Complete 9 Ultimate. Thanks for tuning in, and please be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And check out my website, youtubeaudioguy.com. More videos to come. Stay tuned.